Hello, everyone, and welcome to Knights of the Pageless Library. This is a podcast dedicated to reviewing audiobooks. I am Bo Knight, and as always, I am joined by Ryan Knight. And today, we are taking a look at A Christmas Carol. And we did something a little different here today. So we looked at two versions of the book read by two different people. Mine was read by Simon Preble, and yours was read by Tim Curry, correct? That is correct. Yeah, and... I'm sure plenty of people know or have heard of A Christmas Carol because I feel like either a new show or movie or book rendition, something new comes out every year about this one. So we uh, we just decided to pick a couple that were free on Audible to do for the holidays. So these are the two we landed on, the one with Tim Curry and uh, what would you say it is? Simon Preble. Simon Preble. Preble. And this okay. book is written by Charles Dickens, if you didn't know right. that. Yeah. Uh, widely considered a classic, I'm sure. <clears throat> yeah, and if uh, anybody has anything to uh, say to us, whether that's questions, comments, concerns, praise, whatever you want, uh, email us, kotpl.pod at gmail.com. Um, feel free to send some hate our way, although we did get our first, I would say, first piece of real hate on YouTube, so that's good for us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I know we're a little bit late, obviously, with uh, the Christmas stuff, but with the holidays and stuff going on, we've just been having a hard time being able to sit down and record. So we'll try to get some stuff going here in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, this will be the first one we start off with. <clears throat> so the original story of A Christmas Carol that was written by Charles Dickens was called A Christmas Carol in prose being a ghost story of Christmas. Really? Yeah, that's what it was called. That. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was uh, originally written in 1843. Yeah, it came out on December 19th, 1843. <clears throat> yeah, and I mean, just a real quick overview, you know, if somebody somehow has never heard this story, you know, this is a, uh, it's, it's, uh, I mean, obviously it follows around a single character who has to confront his ghost, if you will. Um, surrounding Christmas. So that's why we chose to do this one around Christmas time, obviously. Um, I mean, what uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, just because I'm a scrub when it comes to this stuff. I mean, obviously, Charles Dickens is known for a lot of things, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he has tons and tons of books. Yeah, that's what I was like thinking. Great he Expectations is one of his. The Tale of Two Cities is Tale one of Two his. Cities, yeah. Oliver Twist is one of his. Right, yep. Yeah, so funnily enough, I would say that these days, uh, Charles Dickens is known for writing classics, basically. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought you were going to say something like, he's known for being a racist. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, seems to be the common thing to say these days, though. But no, he's basically known for writing classics, you know, things that we still uh, <clears throat> check out these days and, you know, they might have you read in school, stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely had to read Oliver Twist. Yeah. And then so what about your um, your narrator there, Bo? Uh, what a- Simon Prebles does a great job. I mean... We've already reviewed one of his books because he does 1984, at least the version that we listen to. Okay. He does. So he's, yeah, I think he does a, he does a great job. He does a really nice. good, like, Scrooge voice. Sure. Right on. Yeah. What did you think of Tim Curry? Yeah. So Tim Curry, uh, it does a fantastic job in this book, actually. He, um, and for most people who don't know Tim Curry, I would say is more widely known as an actor. And then a voice actor, but he does have a very wide selection of books on Audible that he either has participated in or reads himself, which is very cool. Um, he has really good tone in his voice. And again, yeah, I think he plays a really good Scrooge as well. He just uh, he really nailed the characters for me in this one and made it a pretty good listen. <laughs> Tim Curry narrates the Despicable Me book. <laughs> <laughs> 
He also does the series of unfortunate events with a full cast. Oh, does he? Yeah, he also What's does a version like of just never get into. Yeah. He also is part of uh Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, on really? Audible. Or well, you know, one of them, but yeah. So, yeah, he actually has done quite a few things. He he definitely has a good um a good like villain voice, that's for sure. <clears throat> um so if you uh wanted to check this one out the i believe both versions we picked were free with your uh audible yeah, membership i don't know if that's just over christmas yeah i'm not, not sure and um i know at least the version i listen to is only available on audible so yeah mine is not that special but it's weird they only came out two years apart because i think mine came out in 2007 and yours came out in 2009 yeah that's what i'm seeing yeah uh, like I said, I think this book gets redone every year in some Pro- form. Probably. Um, I know, I think it was last year, the year before, I saw a version of it on uh, some app, and it was actually pretty good. It had that same guy from the newer Time Machine movie in it, and it was actually really good. He was Scrooge. Um. Yeah, so this book is actually really short, though. I mean, what? This one's three and a half hours? See, mine was only three hours and nine minutes. Yours is oh. a little bit longer. Yeah, mine's three hours and 31 minutes, which is, that's interesting that they are even different lengths. Huh. Interesting to know. What did you think of the uh, the actual story of this one? It's okay. I mean, I don't love Christmas stuff. Okay. And I think if, if it wasn't for the podcast, I would have never bothered to listen to this. Because you are, I mean, you already <laughs> sure. know. You yeah. already know what it's about. You've heard this story a thousand times. But whenever um, I hear Scrooge, I, all I think of is Hot Rod. You know, like at the end, after he crashes his motorcycle, and he's like, it's Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ever think of. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like this one. Um I like this story in general, um, but as I said, you could listen to or watch this story in any, pre- pretty much any genre or, you know, in any way you want. You know, you, there are shows, there are movies, there are books, there are audiobooks. there's there's probably puppet shows. There's so many oh, things. Oh, I bet there is puppet shows. Okay. Well, actually, there is a puppet show of it because uh, the Muppets did this too. Oh, so, okay. So there you go. Um, I would say most people probably know the story, but it is a it is a good story, I would say. And it is a good story to listen to around the holidays. It is definitely by the end is a feel-good story for sure. I think calling it a good story is a bit of a stretch. You think so? Yeah, because I mean, it's just like, man, this dude's a piece of shit. Some stuff happens and he's not a piece of shit anymore. Yeah. And the, basically I, it. I do agree with that because he's also kind of been, I mean, he's been a piece of shit more than he's ever not been a piece of shit in his life. You know, yeah. he's pretty much a piece of shit for most of his life. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think there's, uh, do we even really need to go through all the, uh, the beats of this story. I'm pretty sure most I, people have heard of this story. I, I mean, even like without spoilers, we can just like he gets visited by three ghosts. First ghost is like, man, you liked Christmas when you were a child. The which is like his past. So Christmas present is like, man, the guys that you employ really don't like you. The the last ghost, which shows his funeral, is like nobody wants to go because he sucked. Yeah, because you because he's a piece of shit. Basically it. Yeah, so he's given a chance after being shown these things to kind of change his ways, if you will. And and Scrooge is like an incredibly wealthy guy, but he's also incredibly frugal. So well, yeah, I mean, you don't get wealthy for no reason, right? Yeah, I would say it's probably accurate to most wealthy people. Um, I like to how they like they have a big fireplace, and he lets him burn like one piece of coal in it to keep yeah. warm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just stuff like that cracks me up. Um, well, and I like that he complains to his worker that he's like, man, you take you take a whole day off for Christmas. Like, that's ridiculous. If I did that to you, you'd be so mad. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. He's terrible. And I, I mean. Yeah, I would say, though, it is a it is an interesting story. Um, but I mean, that sums it up. Yeah, he gets visited by three ghosts and he 
He starts out as a piece of shit, well, and by the end, he's not a piece four. of shit. Yeah, I guess, because with his, Marley... His, his friend in the beginning, yeah. Yeah, because Marley comes back to meet him, yeah, and that's not one of the uh, three specters that visit him. Yeah, I mean, it is... I, I, I guess if I had heard this story for the first time, I would have thought it was pretty good. But, like, you, I've, you've heard... There's so many things that you you already know where this story's going, probably without even really realizing that it's from a Christmas Carol. You kind of know what this is about. That's what I mean. It's just been told and retold almost to death, basically, in my opinion. It's um, probably the best Christmas story, unless unless you discount like the Grinch, which I I like the Grinch, which is kind of the same story if you think about it. Yeah, the Grinch. I mean, yeah, I would say they're both kind of based on the same the same lines, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is, it's a pretty good story, you know, and I would say if you needed something to listen to like around Christmas time, this is a good choice. Um, cause what did we do? Was that last year or the year before? What was that? Uh, last year we did us a wonderful wife, a wonderful wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And I didn't think that was that great of a Christmas story. I'd put them about par. I don't yeah really like christmas stuff that much because I, okay. I don't like that it's 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 basically only for one time of year yeah I mean, like if you're listening to this in the summertime who are you <laughs> maybe you'll really love christmas well then i don't want to know you i'm gonna be honest <laughs> oh my okay i mean yeah there's not much a whole lot else to say about this one it's a good story but i would say most people know what this already is you know i don't think we're telling somebody something they didn't already know yeah somebody's at their computer like what there's a there's a book about ghosts during christmas <laughs> it's called a, it's called what a christmas what yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah i just don't i don't think so yeah um yeah so you know those are our thoughts on a christmas carol a couple different versions of a christmas carol but like i said there are thousands of the versions to choose from so um, if you guys have anything to say to us about that, please feel free to email us, kotpl.pod at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of us. Uh, what are we going to be doing next, Bo? So the next book is uh, A Doctor's Sleep by Stephen King, which is the follow-up to The Shining. Yeah, and we also um, we have our next anime that we've started. So the new season of anime, Squires, should be starting soon. And then we will also be starting soon our Brothers in Arms off spin as well, which will be our our yeah, that'll be a whole separate podcast that won't even show up on this feed. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that will be our foray into uh, video games for anyone who's interested. So, yeah. But yeah, you got anything else to say? You want to keep beating uh, this dead no. Christmas ghost? Just I hope everybody had a happy holidays and a good new year. And yeah. Hope you guys are safe out there. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. And we will catch you in the next one.